Hi, I'm Foxta and welcome to The Other Games, my show about independent games, their creators and all the stuff about them. And thank you for tuning in. I got a nice background, I got my microphone set up properly, hope so. And we're ready to roll and see what I've got in my crossfire zone. A new video of second alpha version of Mega Man PC game from Diamond Soft, namely a guy called Strider. This is a remake of the original Mega Man from 1990s version. It has enhanced graphics, music and sounds. The final game will include two different modes, modern and classic. You're free to choose whether you want to play original stages or new somewhat remix stages and still no release date. A new game goes to Experimental Gameplay Project, which has claimed a new theme for this month. Bare minimum. And that's what a new strategy from Michael Todd called Broken Brothers corresponds to. Naturally, the game was made in 7 days as the rules of the project require. And it tells a story about Malakai, who lost his brothers. So you have to get him some hope, build some units, begin expansion and save those ugly lost brothers. And there is a minimalistic RTS. And it's notable that everybody playing this game loves the sound style and the music. Yes, me too. Tobias and the Dark Scepters from Adam Butcher, an action adventure platformer which is still in development since year 2001, when the creator was questioned, what the hell, how long should we wait? He replied, well, you know, the game is almost complete and I've got only to blah 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 and it's going to be a freeware. And don't you say that after watching this video you don't want to play it. A very nice man Ryan Gordon aka Iclus has created an update package for Linux version of Lugaru. What? Nobody played Lugaru? Don't you know about the battle rabbits from Wolfire team? And nobody plays on Linux? And there's more! A new video was posted showing some gameplay process of Gun Girl 2 game. Paul in the net Schneider, also known as Blue Eagle, is making his game where you shoot very many zombies and wears very much blood. Isn't it enough for you? Ok, here you go! The game has 6 types of weapon and each of them has different modes and upgrades. The game will take you about 8 hours to complete it, but only if you're skilled enough. One hell of power-ups and all sorts of new abilities, an epic story to be told, lots of side quests, a huge open world to explore, gamepad compatibility and the divine music from Josh Welcher, whose music already featured in some games. There's only a demo version available for now, but stay alert, all in the net claims the release will be this November. Moving on to our 3 games for today. Steamergy, a game created by Hizor Kelly from Kokoromi and Renu Beda from Polyton. They decided to cooperate attending to Bivouac Urban event in Quebec. And by the rules they created a game in 36 hours. In the game authors try to make many game developers dream come true. A dream to simulate ends life. And they succeeded in some way. You might wonder where's the fun watching ends crawling around? Yes, we need some gameplay here. That's why they give us some power to control insects and they made up some tasks to accomplish, fighting the timer along the way. So we can control the ants using two types of pheromones. The green one attracts insects, the orange one drives them off. And the game creators made up some interesting tasks to do. For example, quickly gather certain amount of ants to your picnic basket. Or not to let any of your ants step into one of those pieces of dirt. Or feed the kitty 30 ants until the timer runs out. Yes, this is the kitty. And yes, you have to feed it with your ants. Well, this is not important. Grab your pheromones and go for it. It's noticeable that all the graphics in the game are procedural, so the game does not use any prepared textures. Everything calculated at runtime and also gets some nice looking effects spread upon, and the game really pleases the eye. The in-game sounds are very simplistic, but they're really well done and fit their place. Well, what would ant scrolling sound like? And the kitty eating insects? I don't know. Also this week, developer Fifth released a new demo version of his game Nothing. 
let's watch the gameplay video and I'll try to explain why I like the game so much. This is a platformer of explorational type and the first thing that strikes after you start it is the animation of our character. I don't have the words to describe it, just watch it. It's amazing. I cannot think of any other game with such in detail drawn animation for a little animal. Ok, next the atmosphere of the place. Creator says that he started making the game after playing the famous cave story. He was very impressed by the fact that Pixel managed to create such beauty with limited number of colors. As for me, Phil did a great job on the look of that place. It feels very deep. Pixelated objects, moving lawyers of the stage, the moon reflecting in the river on the background, and so much weird animals jumping and flying around. And yes, I love barking on those little rabbits. The game named nothing simply because Fifth hasn't decided how to call it properly yet, so expecting the game to be renamed. At this moment demo version has no sound at all, only some nice music from Sam Dillard, and that makes playing the game a little uncomfortable. As long as I didn't get so far in this demo, well, let's just say I get lost. Ok, I'm a loser. Let us take a look at more screenshots from the game's website. So, we've been here, we've seen this, wow, now we have wings, and here we play as some sort of mouse. The demo contains only the first area and the creator promises the huge open world. There is no release date announced, but Fifth assures us the project is not cancelled. And so we move to our last game for today. But first a question. Do you remember Jan William Nijman from previous episodes? Why don't you? Remember, we played his game Kukwak. And he also said that with Kukwak he was sort of practicing in creating an FPS game. That's what he was up to. Because now he released his new game BOOM. I mean it. BOOM. You watch the game and I'm gonna blab a little about the game. Jan created the game as a school project. Other kids do some projects breeding some kind of microorganisms or attaching some micro engine to their hamster's running wheel for charging a cell phone. And Jan creates his awesome game. So the game is a first person shooter created with original Game Boy hardware restrictions in mind. Not the processing power of that little thing, but the color palette the screen resolution, the limited size of tiles and sprites and the controls are just to fit the Game Boy console. I saw a game and could only say <laughs> Let's quickly run through controls. Arrows to walk, Z button, fire, X button, strafing. S button changing weapons, R button restart the level. And in the later build he made changeable sensitivity. So you press 1 or 2 to lower or raise it. And a 4 function key, toggles full screen and window mode. People on the forums just love the second level and it's awesome boss guy. But I decided to keep this level to run through a bit later. Ok, I just suck at the game. Well, today's episode with new enhanced version of my wall gets to its end. All the links to the games you'll find in the episode description somewhere nearby. Play these games and leave your comments about what you think of them and this episode down there. It was The Other Games, my show about independent games, their creators and all the stuff about them. And I am Paxta, see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>